I wanted to focus a little bit on the broadband issue that, that the Senator highlighted at the end of his speech there. Um, obviously, pre-pandemic, broadband was a priority, but the pandemic certainly highlighted how important broadband is for a whole host of different reasons. Um, anything from telemedicine with people being sh uh, shuttered at home, not being able to get to a doctor, was very difficult in our county. School children getting packets of information home because they couldn't have face-to-face -face, uh, uh, instruction through a Zoom uh, or through a school district. Um, our, our, and a lot of our economic development partners um, looking at trying to attract some of the flight from the tri-state area um, for both housing but um, um, development for businesses. Um, as almost as important as they're looking for highway access, uh, water and sewer infrastructure, if you don't have cell service or broadband, they're looking at other places to, to, to develop their business. And likewise, homeowners are looking at other properties to, to kind of have a second home or move, move their families out of the tri-state area up here. If there's no broadband, they're not coming. So I think um, the Senator has really highlighted that, and I think we're applying, he mentioned, a $2 million CARES Act grant that would um, help to get us close to 60% coverage for our, our residents and businesses. Um, initially, that's what we're calling phase one of our project. We, we tend to get as close to 100% as possible, but the $2 million would go a long way to for us to get touching 60% of the homes and businesses in Sullivan County. We also share the same challenge with broadband internet. Uh, in, in all of our county, especially the, the western and southwestern parts. And so in our uh, recovery and resilience plan in Ulster County, we will be using those funds just like our partners in Sullivan County to make sure that every home in Ulster County has uh, reliable access. And the Senator hit this, there's really two aspects to ensuring equity of, of broadband access. It's not just making the physical investments in infrastructure, which we're gonna do, but it's also understanding the financial barriers so that those families that are struggling, especially with the economic impacts of the pandemic, can afford it. Uh, so we'll be building a community broadband Wi-Fi initiative in Ulster County with these federal relief funds. Whether it's my kids who have not physically been back to school in over 12 months that are working remotely from home, or if it's that single mom or that company, that executive uh, that has to work or the teacher or the healthcare provider that's doing telehealth. So it is gonna be critical that we work together, Megan. We're gonna definitely be working and trying to do everything we can to try to get us most money, get more uh, than Paul and Kratz got for uh, Ulster and, and Orange and, and Sullivan. And again, I wanna thank you, Senator, for all the hard work. Thank you for inviting me here today. Thank you, Steve.